1916, and Woodrow Wilson signed into creation the National Park Service. In that same year, Bandelier National Monument was also established. 100 years later, the story continues. So we are here today at the Bandelier Centennial Bio Blitz and Biodiversity and Cultural Fiesta. The reason we're here is that we're helping to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the creation of the National Park Service and also the 100th anniversary of the creation of Bandelier National Monument, both of which were established in 1916. Our BioBlitz is one of seven showcase BioBlitzes being held across the country in, in partnership with National Geographic as part of a huge kickoff celebration for the Park Service Centennial. A BioBlitz is an event in which teams of volunteer scientists, families, students, teachers, and other community members work together to find and identify as many species of plants, animals, and other organisms as possible. So this BioBlitz was just one way of bringing together filmmakers, geographers, environmental scientists, uh, ethnographers, and all of these people together in one place at one time and make an event that everyone can hear about. I'm amazed at how much stuff they have actually done to document what has happened after the flood and, and, and whether the biodiversity is up or down or changing and what have you. And the thing is that the park is doing an excellent job of documenting that and every year it's going to be different. I can guarantee it. And that's one of the big focuses of BioBlitz, all BioBlitzes, but especially the Centennial BioBlitz, is to try to bring in a lot of non-scientists to help experience science, experience national parks and public lands, and also to, to really put a big focus on youth and try to help create the next generation of park stewards and environmental stewards. It just amazed me how many of those kids absolutely fell in love with this place. And they were so interested in collecting bugs and collecting, you know, things that were flying and things that were not flying and things that were swimming. And I swear there must have been half a dozen, so I want to be a scientist when I grow up. And many of them hopefully will become park rangers. One of our missions is to maintain all of these sites in perpetuity for future generations. So if we do our job well, in a hundred years from now, you'll be able to come back to Bandelier or any other national park and see the same resources in the same condition that you see today. We have, in almost every case, something very unique ecologically, biologically, geologically. The bottom line is, it is in America's best interests to save this. You know, it's sort of like if you buy artwork, you buy artwork because it's beautiful and you don't buy it, put it up, take it down three days later and ignore it. Beauty is something you have to see. It enriches your life in every way possible. I can't imagine anybody who's been here once not wanting to come back more and more because not only is it just incredibly beautiful, but there's so many things we haven't seen. You may think you've seen the entire park and you haven't. 